Hello, my name is Reggie Wallace, and I'm with the Bentley Technical Support Team. Have you ever wondered how to quickly set the active attributes in a drawing file? In this video, we will show how to match an element's attributes and properties to set active attributes. First, we'll review the attribute section of the Home Group ribbon. Next, we'll see how to match a place element's attributes to quickly set the active attributes in a file. And then we'll see how to match an element's properties such as text to set the active text settings. In our DGN file, we can go to the attribute section of our ribbon under the home group. And here we can set the active attributes uh, in our file. Now here we'll notice uh, the level is set to default, uh, our color, our line style and line weight are all set to zero. Now we can uh, change the uh, active attributes by simply clicking on the various pick list of these different attributes and uh, setting the active attribute. But now if we notice in our file we have some shapes here that are uh, placed on different levels and uh, set to different color and line style values. Now a shortcut key that we can use to quickly set our attributes is by using uh, the Alt key which is generally found by the spacebar on most standard keyboards and the data uh, button or the left mouse button. So let's select this shape, click on the Alt key, select our left mouse button and now we see that we've changed our level to level 1, uh, our color is 1. Let's do this again. Uh, we'll select another shape, uh, we'll simply click on the Alt key, we'll left mouse click or our data button and now we've changed our level to level 2, we've changed our color to 3, we've changed our line style to 4, and we have changed our line weight to 6. Let's now try the same shortcut keys on a text element. Now if we uh, select this piece of text, click on our Alt button, we'll notice in our uh, attribute uh, section here that the level has been changed to a level called text uh, and uh, our current color is 4. But now let's try placing text in our file and when we get to our, our text uh, dialog we notice that the attributes uh, do not match our text. The height, the color uh, are, are not the same. If we actually place our text uh, we'll see that uh, the text is not the right size. Now, in order to be able to use the shortcut key effectively uh, for text elements, what we need to do is we need to go to uh, the Backstage by clicking on File. We go to Settings, go to User, go to Button Assignments, and here we see a listing of all our shortcut keys under the uh, Button uh, menu. Uh, let's select the Alt plus the Data button because uh, we're going to adjust that. Uh, currently it says match attributes from cursor. We're going to change that to match element from cursor. So now we're actually matching the element, uh, the, both the attributes uh, as well as the element. We're going to save that to our button menu and now we're going to go back in our file. And now if we uh, do the same operation, select our text using our shortcut key. Now when we go place our text, we notice that uh, our text height and color are correct and now if we place text we see that it is also uh, the same size as uh, our text that we match which is what we want thank you for watching and have a good day